In a perfect world, I mean, I, I've been arguing, not arguing, but defending and our budget before the Congress now for a very long time, and I've been talking about global health and the need for us to make investments in global health. And in my earlier somewhat naive days, I would thought that humanitarian motivations would, would carry the day, that we would feel an obligation as a rich country to be able to help less fortunate nations and less fortunate societies. Um, that works for a while. It doesn't have sustainability. Uh, then there was the concern that a disease from someplace else would come here, and the big wake-up call was HIV-AIDS that actually originated in sub-Saharan Africa, and the idea of a flu, a pandemic influenza arising in a developing nation and coming here. You know, that can scare people for a while, but they tend to lose interest in it. What the sustainable issue is now is that we really do live in a global society. And the more and more that we have interconnectedness among nations, the more and more the health of the world is an issue, economically, politically, from a security standpoint, investments in other nations where you have the threat of diseases that can devastate populations, like tuberculosis, malaria, diarrheal diseases, respiratory diseases. You can have an unstable society. Do you want to make investments in a country that is so burdened by illness that their, that, that their society is unstable? So the health of the world now, as we go more and more towards a global society, has what we call enlightened self-interest issues. So I'd love it to be pure humanitarian, but unfortunately that doesn't. So we really should be and are more and more concerned about the health of the nation. Uh, if we have investments in country where malaria has a substantial proportion of the population essentially weak so as to not be optimally productive, that has impact. That has impact on the security of a nation. I mean, nations that are very sick in their, with regard to their public health generally are economically deprived. Economical deprivation and poverty feeds infectious diseases, and right around you get a vicious cycle. So it becomes very, very important to be concerned about these things.